Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Verma and today we are learning Feature Selection. It is a technique to select relevant features from original features. To understand that, we are taking an example. Let us suppose that we are having a data set of employee. Here we have so many features like employee ID, employee name, employee salary, and employee years of experience. So these are the all features which are available with employee data set. Now let us suppose that the HR department of company want to create an algorithm in which they want to increase the salary of all the employees based on their experience. And to train the model they need some features. Here, salary is the important feature and experience is the important feature. Employee ID is not required and the name is not required. Because to increase the salary, we need the current salary and the years of experience. So these two are the selected features. So by these selected features, now we can train the model very easily. So here feature selection means selecting the relevant features means which are important for the algorithm from all the original features. Next is feature selection remove redundant, irrelevant or noisy features. Here, the redundant means the features which are in duplicacy. Irrelevant means the features which are not important for the algorithm. Noisy means the features which are creating overhead. So these all features which are not required, they will be removed by feature selection technique. Now we are discussing the advantages of feature selection techniques. The first is they reduce dimensionality of feature space. Here the dimensionality means what are the features available in feature space. So it will reduce those features. When we have less number of features, it will be easy for algorithm to understand and compute with those features. Next is it avoids curse of dimensionality. The curse of dimensionality says that when a model reaches to the optimum number of features and we further increase the features then the performance of model decreases. So it avoid the curse of dimensionality because here we are having selected features. We are not going to increase multiple features. Next is speed up learning algorithm. Here the features are selected which are very less as compared to all the features. So the learning algorithm learn very fast because the features are very limited. Next is it improve predictive accuracy of algorithm. Here the algorithm only work with the selected and important features. That's why the prediction is more accurate. Next is it improve comprehensibility of learning results. Here the comprehensibility means clarity. So model is very much clear on the learning results because we are working on the important features only. Next is it improve performance of model. Here the model is working on only important features. That's why learning is easy and also calculation is very easy. Next is it reduce training time. Here we have limited features. So less number of features need less time for training. Next is simplified model. 
Here the model is very simple because it work on the important features. It is not having any irrelevant feature. Next is it reduce overfitting. Here overfitting means we are keep on adding multiple features and because of that the performance of model decrease. But here we are only using the important features. So it reduce overfitting. So these all are the advantages because of that we need the feature selection technique. Now we are learning the feature selection techniques. Majorly there are two types of feature selection techniques. The first one is supervised feature selection technique. It is based on supervised learning where we have knowledge of input and output. Here we know the output means we know the target. So they consider target variable. In supervised learning we have labeled data. So these techniques are used for labeled data set. The next type of feature selection technique is unsupervised feature selection. This is based on unsupervised learning. Here we know input but we don't have the idea of output. Means target is not known. So they do not consider target variable. In unsupervised learning we have unlabeled data. So they are used for unlabeled data set. In the supervised feature selection technique there are three major techniques. The first is filters method, second is wrapper method and third is embedded method. Now we are discussing the filters method. This is the method under supervised feature selection. This is the diagram of filters method. Here we have all features and out of that we select some important features and based on that we train the algorithm and algorithm give the performance. In the filters method the features are selected on the basis of statistics mayors. The features which are of high importance they are selected. The filters method don't depend upon the algorithm. Here they select the feature and provide to the algorithm and afterward they do not ask anything from the algorithm. In filters method they choose features in pre-processing step. Here pre-processing means before processing. The algorithm process the data set but here the features are selected before they are processed by the algorithm and afterward there is no concern with that. Next is the filters method filter out irrelevant feature using ranking. Here it gives rank to all the features based on their importance and the feature which are most important based on the rank are selected. Now we are learning the advantages of filters method. The first is it needs low computational time. The filters method is very simple and works step by step. So there is very less computational time. Second is it does not overfit. Here overfit means we are keep on adding features and because of that model become inefficient. But that is not the case here because we are only using the selected and important features. There are various techniques under filters method which are missing value, information gain, chi-square test and Fisher's score. 
So that is all about the filters method. Next is wrapper method. This is the method under supervised feature selection technique. And here is a diagram for wrapper method. Here we have all features and out of that we select the important features and we provide these features to the algorithm. Now with the algorithm we take the feedback and based on that we update the features. Here we can add the features and delete the features and again we check the algorithm and afterward algorithm give the performance. So in the wrapper method features are selected considering problem. Here we work according to the given problem. If the algorithm says that we has to update the feature, we update the feature, we add and read the feature accordingly. In wrapper method, different combinations are made, evaluated and compared. Let us suppose that we are having the employee data set where we have features like ID, name, salary and experience. Here we can make multiple combinations just like the first combination is of ID and name. Second combination is of ID and salary. Third combination is of salary and experience. We will evaluate all these combination and compare them and we will find that the combination of salary and experience will be better if we are going to calculate the increment. So the best combination of selected features will be salary and experience that we will provide to the algorithm. Next is in the wrapper method on the basis of output of model features are added and removed and model is trained again. Here we provide the best combination of selected features to the algorithm and afterward we take the output from algorithm. If algorithm is not giving the optimum output, in that case we modify the feature. We can add the feature or remove some feature and again we train the model and again we check the algorithm and this thing will keep on going until we get the best performance. In the wrapper method we are having techniques which are regularization L1, L2 and random forest importance. So that is all about wrapper method. Next method is embedded method. This is the method under supervised feature selection technique. And here is a diagram of embedded method. Embedded method combines the best features of filters method and wrapper method. In the filter method, the best part was low computing time. And in the wrapper method, the best part is interaction of features. This means we can add and delete features based on requirement. In the embedded method, we have both the advantages. We have low computing time and we can add and delete features. Here in the diagram, we can see that we are having all features and out of that we are selecting the important features. From these important features, we are training the algorithm and we are taking the performance. Here we are taking algorithm and its performance both into consideration and with their feedback we can add and delete features. Again we are training the model and again we are checking algorithm and performance together and again we can add and delete the features. This cycle will keep on going until we are having the best performance of the model. In the embedded method, we are taking two things, algorithm and performance together as the feedback. 
for changing the features. So we can say that in the embedded method on the basis of output of model and performance features are added and removed and model is trained again. So here we take the algorithm and performance both together and this output we use for adding and removing the features and afterward we train the model again. This cycle keep on going until we get the best performance. Now we are learning the advantages of embedded method. Embedded method is having fast processing similar to filters method. Embedded method is the combination of best features of filter method and wrapper method. From filter method we have low computing time and because of that it is having fast processing. Next is embedded method is more accurate than filter method. Embedded method also take the best features of wrapper method in which interaction of features are there. That means we can add and delete feature based on the feedback and because of that it becomes more accurate. So that is all about embedded method. In the embedded method we are having various techniques which are forward feature selection backward feature selection, exhaustive feature selection and recursive feature selection. So these all are the feature selection techniques. That's all for today. Thank you.